For more debates, updates and bonus content, sign up at thebigconversation.show. In a way, you know, going from Wicca to Christianity, you know, sounds quite dramatic. And and in a way, there was a sort of one or two penny dropping moments, I think, along the way where you yourself were surprised at, at this journey you were going on. Well, again, I think now when I look back at Wicca, I see Wicca as a Christian heresy, actually, weirdly enough. Uh, and I see a lot of New Age stuff as a bit of a Christian heresy because it's the well firstly i mean in, in terms of the way that wiccans actually do their ceremonies there's a lot of playing around with with bread and wine and altars and all sorts of things like that and, and they, they would be very cross if you told them that they were they were satirizing christianity but they are um and there is there is a sense that a lot of these new age religions have behind them broadly christian values actually but they don't want to deal they don't want to deal with christ and they don't want to deal with monotheism and they don't want to deal with the church a lot of it actually is a is a is a rebellion against institutions, which I think is a much broader cultural issue that's going on at the moment. They just don't like hierarchy. They don't like priests. They don't like institutions. They don't like books with rules in. Um, mm. So it's very much uh, a very contemporary, very post-war Western rebellion against forms. I think. Um, and 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 I was I wasn't I wasn't so interested in that myself. I was I was looking for God. Um and I just started having very strange experiences. Um which is, yeah, these things are difficult to describe, but I was having dreams and I was having experiences and I was meeting Christians every five minutes. I was getting emails from Christians. I was getting I used to run a writing school and, and I, I endlessly su suddenly had vicars writing to me and asking me to to read their sermons and give them feedback and I had people I hadn't I'd known for years suddenly tell me they were Christian and I hadn't known and I, I felt like really I, I felt uh, uh, after after I'd read some C.S. Lewis I kind of recognized what was going on you know because I felt like I was just being hunted actually I thought, oh, <laughs> I thought, oh god I'm being hunted by Jesus I can't deal with this this was not the plan uh, but it was happening it's very I mean you know if I'd listened to this sort of thing five years ago I thought it sounded absurd but it happened to me and I mm. felt like I was physically dragged out of, of Wicca. Actually, I felt like I was physically being told you've got to get out of here because this is not good stuff you're doing. And it isn't good stuff, actually. Um, there's there's all sorts of strange forces at work that people are not necessarily aware of, I think, now. And I really felt like I was I had I had asked. I had really been looking for God and God had come to find me or Christ had come to find me particularly. Mm. And one of the reasons I thought that this was true apart from the fact that it wouldn't stop, um, was that I didn't want it to be true. Interestingly, I, you know, I'd gone looking for Buddhism and I'd gone looking for Wicca because I thought they fitted with how I saw the world, but I didn't think Christianity fitted with how I saw the world at all. And I didn't want to be Christian. Um, and yeah, that was, and eventually I just basically had to accept that this was happening yeah. and give into it and see where it took me because I'd asked for it. So now I had to deal with the consequences. Yeah.